Hey, my name's Lincoln Brewster, and I want to take a minute and teach you the guitar solo for the first single off my new album, Real Life. It's called Reaching For You, and uh, this song is in the key of A. And I'm going to give you a quick snapshot overview of this solo, and then uh, when I'm all done, I'll play it through from the top so you can hear it in context. Um, this song's in the key of A, and it's, uh, it's a fairly straightforward chord progression in the chorus. So I'm reaching for you. I'm singing to you, lifting my hands to praise you, lifting my voice to thank you. It's pretty straightforward tonally. When it gets to the solo, it actually goes to the two minor. One over three, four, five sus, five. Then it's going to repeat that as it walks up. So it gives a little bit of a different tonal center than the rest of the song, even though it's in the same key. Um, so I decided to do this kind of descending um, octave line uh, when the solo first starts. So it starts on that uh, B minor 7, so it's up here. Up. That's the first little phrase. And uh, for those of you who have uh, checked out Volume 2 instructional DVD that I have, that talks about uh, some of the modes basics. So this is... Um, uh, we're playing an A major or F sharp minor, which is the relative minor to that. It's really based around pentatonic, and I'm just jumping octaves to give it a little bit different flavor. So uh, that first lick is... Just a simple little melody line to kind of give you something to, uh, to grab onto there. And then it goes to this descending line um, that uh, starts up here on, uh, on A, on the 15th fret there. Sorry, on the 17th fret. So it's this little descending line that uh, sets up uh, this octave riff that I go into next that has sort of these um, little pick extra things. You'll hear them. It goes like this. stuff. One more time on that. And then because I don't have 21 frets on the Strat, um, I've got to actually bend this up one half step higher than I normally would. So a normal whole step bend would be... So get it all, all the way up there. Um, so, uh, so you really got to crank that thing up there. Again, uh, on volume one, I, I kind of show you how to get some good leverage with those bends. So you'll see that I'm using more than one finger. I'm not just doing this, but I'm using both these other guys to really yank that thing up there. And then it does that same type of descending run again, but I do it a little more haphazardly, a little faster, um, going all the way down, and then you kind of go back up to the top. And uh, it's actually hard to play slow, believe it or not, but it's... Um, uh, um, that type of technique going down. And then as you walk back up, um, there's a, a tricky little line right here that goes... those notes quite right so um, uh, then when you put all those uh, together hopefully you get something that's uh, a memorable piece of the song and uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, to hearing what you guys have um, we've, we've decided to call this a uh, little solo competition show me what you got because I'm always showing you what I got so uh, anyway show me what you got and uh, here's the solo in context <laughs> Two things. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have have you try to play it as close to how I played it as possible. That's gonna be one contest. The other contest is gonna be 
I want you to make up your own solo on these sections. And uh, me and the, a bunch of guys are going to get together, we'll judge these, and we're going to have some awesome uh, prizes for people who win, and then we'll have some killer grand prize winners for each of those categories. And uh, stay tuned, we'll let you know what those are, and uh, get ready to show me what you got.